Hi, welcome. Uh, we are working on Xmonad, but there was a question on Discord. And somebody asked, hey, can we make the polybar transparent? So the bar that's up here in Xmonad, in Openbox, we can use it. In i3, we can use it. In BSP, WM, we can use it. And we're probably going to use it in other tiling window managers as well, since it's very flexible, it's very intuitive and it has already lots and lots of modules and we've just created three more discord variety and PAMIC. now the question is how to make this transparent and the first thing you need to do is go to adaclinux.com type in polybar transparent okay no post found saying goes here adaclinux d these are the two websites the major websites where the stuff is the forum is the last thing you can check out which is here the forum but um I'm gonna make a video about it, simple as that. It's so, so, so simple. You just need to know it. Super shift turn. We go to our polybar, to our configuration, open it up with your preferred um, editor. No need this anymore. And we, you need to think on what system am I? I am at this point in time on Xmonad. So if you're on um, open box you need to navigate to main bar of open box or the main bar of i3 so different bars in this configuration it's one file that contains everything just use search right control find so we have um, the transparency okay the transparency of the colors can be set at a specific a specific place and in this case, I don't need to go to the Xmonad uh, elements, but I'm going to point you anyway to here, because if you need to change something, it's going to be here because you're on Xmonad. In this case, the color is all the way up. As you see, there are some colors in here, but it's the line color, the border color you can set. But basically, the background color, you don't see anything here. So all the way up, where is the coloring then? Well, there are three coloring systems. There's the North team, which are, we are using now. This is the North team. And this is hidden away. It's the Gotham team. You can use another theme. And this is the Interceptor theme. So one of our developers has created this. And in here is already a hint how to make it transparent. In here, you see not six digits, but eight digits. And the first two guys here are actually telling how transparent it should be. FF is going to be all opaque, not transparent at all. And then you go down to zero, zero until it's fully transparent. So if you don't want to change the theme, but you can, of course, then you need to add here the background, like uh, let's take the same setting like Interceptor does, AA, right? AA, save. Watch what happens with this toolbar. This is transparency. This is how you should do it. And at this point in time, we don't have any system icons anymore. So maybe you'll see that the system icons are not transparent. And that's, of course, because this, this little uh, application that's down, is running there, is not Polybar. That's something else. So that's why we're moving, I guess, we'll see what the future will bring, moving away from the system icons and uh, working like this. So this is transparency. Um, so that's just the Polybar and not the system icons icons you can change anything else um, let's go to ff again so you see that i'm right about this opaque thing so if you save control s you'll see that it's again black black zero zero is all the way around i don't think that's necessary alt n maybe will give an okay look just depending what wallpaper you have so this is a dark wallpaper so that's okay, that's readable. But, um, so you have to choose between 00, zero and FF. How about 88? Eight? How about 55? Five, five? And you can go to DD. And the maximum is FF. And you choose whatever transparency you like. All right, that concludes the video.